Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Champions of Kryn. We're on the fourth floor of Gargath Keep. We just broke up a crooked dice game in this room. And then on the other side of this floor, ooh, maybe somebody's going to be doing something with dragon eggs. Who knows? But let's find out. Okay, nothing going on in that little bitty room. Yep. Here, and then we need to go to that door directly across. And let's, ooh, we pick the lock. That means there's something important behind. Kapoks are standing guard at the door to the south. They look up at you and prepare to attack. What do you do? Yeah, if you hang around too long, they'll attack you anyway. So if you don't, if you do, if you don't want to avoid fighting them all together, just go ahead and attack, which we are about to do. Yep. Okay, just four kapox. Let's see if we can. them out without getting into melee range. Because <coughs> <coughs> basically that paralyzing spit they have to be in touch range for. So, we're going to try every, having everybody attack with missile weapons from as far away as we can. And no, we aren't going to bother with darts from this distance. Oh, yeah, probably he, is, he lost his melee weapon temporarily in the last battle against Boz. Okay. It's just four of them, so we might be able to take the four of them out before they get into melee range of us. Or not. Okay. Obviously, he's going to have to switch to his melee weapon. Oh, come on. Some of the gold box games when you are aiming and you can select next or previous, it'll only scroll among enemies unless you intentionally pick the manual targeting. But this isn't one of them. <clears throat> oh crap, John's just been paralyzed.
This is why we wanted to engage the Kapox from as far away as possible. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we just bandaged John. Okay, now we just have people switch back to melee weapons until we get the prompt to end the battle. Okay, they should just have some steel. A little bit more than that many balls would, but nothing special. Alright, let's save in our alternate save position. And we'll fix. And then we'll save again. We didn't use any spells. Now, in that next room we'll get to find out what those four Kapoks were guarding. There is a crude altar set up in this room. Scattered around it is a group of spellcasters making arcane signs and breathing whispered words of power. Oh yeah. When you enter, a growl of frustration rises as the glow around the altar dies. The group turns toward you with murder in its eyes. Evidently, they blame us for the conversion being botched. Okay, and let's see what we're up against. We've got some Kapox and some human fighters and an elvish curate. And, yeah, a couple elvish curates, a couple thaumaturges. There. But it's basically the Thaumaturges and the Curates are probably the nastiest. They suggest Stinking Cloud and Hold Person. And for both of those we have to get kind of close. Especially for the Stinking Clouds. And that's as far as he can get. So, we'll try to have him damage <coughs> one of the spell casters, <coughs> which he wasn't able to do. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead. Keep moving. Yes. They've got lightning bolts. Oh, joy. Well, now, the Cyrus did er learn Fireball, but I think at the time he was memorizing them, the red moon was full. Okay. Let's check how far away the nearest spellcaster is. Okay, and let's see according to the back of the adventurer's journal what range charm person has. Hmm. She might be able to charm one of the spellcasters. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. She doesn't have charm person memorized. 
Oh, crap. That's not good. All right. Well, when in doubt, yell. seems to be working on quite a few of them. Okay. So she can't officially cast spells, but she does still have that wand of ice storm. So she might want to use that. That might, oh, unfortunately that's not. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, she's not close enough to target any of the spellcasters with that ice storm. Yeah, unfortunately she doesn't, he doesn't have any of his fireballs. Okay, maybe magic missile. Okay. The other elvish curate cast protection from good. Oh. Edard's got to switch to his melee weapon. All right. Well, we could try hold person. And maybe hold person here. Okay, let's start with the Elvish Curate. The Elvish Curate is the one we really wanted to hold, and that's the one person we didn't succeed in holding. Okay. Okay. Hmm, maybe magic missile. Hmm, those magic missiles are doing a lot of damage to Arya. OK. 
Okay. Let's try Stinking Cloud. Try moving it hard this way. And sounds like one of the features casting again. Okay, not seeing anything she can really use, so let's try to aim at the guy who's standing. Good. All right. Maybe another stinking cloud. Oh, that's... Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Hmm. Maybe silence fifteen foot radius. So the two Elvish Curates have been taken out. Now we just have the two Thaumaturges left. Okay. Oh, I can probably concentrate on taking out this evil flight over now as long as those solitaires just have been silenced. Okay, let's see what she's got, what Danny's got left. Maybe sleep. Mm, didn't work. Okay, the evil fighter has just surrendered. Area actually still has 10 hit points left.
Okay, now we can finally start switching back to missile weapons. Or we catch up to where the two thaumaturgists are. And the thaumaturgists are fleeing. Okay, she might actually be close enough to use her darts. All right. There's just the one thaumatur just left, and that thaumatur just is not silenced anymore, so we better hustle. <sighs> well, that was the last one. Oh, no, still there. <laughs> Finally, thought we had already taken that one out, but evidently not. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, finally. We've got 841 experience and just a little bit of steel. And it looks like, ooh, look at that, some magic user scrolls. You know, and that's something that's not really mentioned in the clue book either. Okay, let's see if there's anything else magical. Uh, just the two magic user scrolls. So we'll have Danny take the darts and the white magic user scroll. And Viserys will take the red magic user scroll. Well, at least nobody's dead this time. Let's encamp and see if we can rest. And we'll finish memorizing spells and find out what's on those two scrolls we found off camera. And we'll see you in the next episode. So see you then.